Today on Riff's Beards and Gear, we check out a whole bunch of very small, compact, and affordable pedals from Arcade Audio. So in the world of guitar pedals, smaller is generally better. You can fit smaller stuff and more pedals, ergo, onto your given pedal board or within your given space. Arcade Audio has released a whole bunch of pedals. I have 10 of them here, and we are gonna check them out today. See what we think. Now, before we go any further, this video is brought to you by AMS, American Musical Supply. For all pedals or pickups, my first pickup that I ever bought was from AMS. I will link down below in the description. Shout out to AMS. All thoughts and opinions, however, are still mine. Now, Arcade Audio is not a newcomer to the pedal world. I have seen them around, I think, before. However, I have not seen these teeny tiny little compact pedals. And these range in price from, I think, $37 to the most expensive boy is, I believe, the God Mode Reverb coming in at, you know, 54 bucks. Right, so that's that's the top of the line for this little mini pedal line of 10 pedals. There is a reverb, there is a chorus, there is a fuzz, there is a distortion, there is an overdrive, there is a noise gate, there is a tremolo, there is a delay pedal, of course, and there is a compressor, and lastly, there is a flanger. Now, what you like is up to you. I'm gonna plug in three or four of these, as many as I can or can find patch cables for. I'm gonna fire up uh, my Friedman JJ100, and we're just gonna play around with some and see what we think. All right, so I have four pedals hooked up because hooking all 10 of these things up gets dicey power-wise. Uh, I chose the KO noise gate, the uh, game over overdrive, the cartridge dust fuzz, and the God mode reverb. I'm going into the front of my Friedman JJ100 on the dirty channel, but the game backed off a little bit, and I have my 60s standard Gibson Les Paul. This is what we're working with. We got a little bit of noise there, as you can hear. First, let's check out this noise gate. Doesn't sound like anything, that's good. There are two settings. There's a soft and then there's a hard. It's basically speed and how fast it reacts, uh, fast or slow. Try that up a little bit. All right, so let's move on. I'm gonna keep this on for obvious reasons. I'm gonna keep the overdrive on. Next, let's uh, let's check out this overdrive because this should sound pretty all right, I think. traditional boost, volume all the way up, drive all the way down. Yeah, 
it's adding some sauce. It's like uh, it's cutting a little bit of the low end, which I like. It's also boosting up the upper mid. Just a skosh, as one would expect with the overdrive. Let's give it a little bit more drive and turn the volume down. I'm going to hit about noon. I like that tone. Turn that off. Let's move over to the cartridge dust fuzz. I realize I'm going into a drive channel. However, let's see what this sounds like anyway. I'm gonna turn the fuzz down. I like stacking uh, gains. So I'm a gain stacker. Let's try it. Noise gate's catching it. That's good. Turn that off. Let's go to let's go to the God Mode Reverb. There's three different reverbs on here. There's a Spring Reverb as well. Let's see. There's what is it? The Room Spring and Shimmer. I couldn't remember the last one. Shimmer. All right. So we're gonna start with the Room again into the Friedman. <laughs> Saucy. Obviously, I'm going into the front end of the amplifier, but still. I'm going to lower the mix. Last but not least, let's do Shimmer. Let's do something a little bit more usable. Also gonna go to the neck pickup. Turn my volume down. The harmonicizer or something? It sounds cool, whatever it is. Let's uh <laughs> let's see if we can make it louder.
All right, so what do I think? Um, honestly, for budget overdrive, the game over overdrive is pretty dang good. Real talk. Also, budget noise gate, the KO noise gate, pretty good. It's fast enough for you, the heavy stuff and everything in between. It doesn't change your tone, which is something that, you know, I fundamentally enjoy. My tone not being changed, but I don't want it to be. Um, also, a lot of range on the threshold. I mean, you know, even with uh, my passive Les Paul, you know, I'm only at, you know, 11 o'clock and I have much, much more room to go all the way counterclockwise being totally off on the noise gate. It's clean. It's inexpensive. I like that. Small, cheap. Word up. I'm your boy. Uh, if you want to check out any of these pedals from Arcade Audio, I will link down below in the description. Shout out to our sponsor, AMS, for sponsoring this video. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.